Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today we're gonna test Five Minute Crafts Caramel Popcorn Cooking Hacks to see if it works. The first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the cooking hack that Five Minute Crafts did on how to cook caramel popcorn. And what they did in this 22 second video, they don't give measurements or anything. They start off with this butter, and it looks like about two to three tablespoons of butter, and then they put Werther's Original Candy in it, let it melt down into a caramel, and then sprinkle in some popcorn. Then they put a bowl over top of it and let the popcorn pop. And somehow it comes out perfectly. I'm not so sure that'll happen. You flip it over and boom, now you have this beautiful caramel popcorn. I'm not so sure it's gonna work out like that. And I, I'm just very skeptical that the popcorn's gonna look as good as it looks there. So let's see. First thing we gotta do is find a pan. I'm using this non-stick pan. I think that'll help with the caramel and everything. It looked like they used some sort of cast iron pan, not like completely cast iron, but uh, I think the non-stick will be better. And then you need a bowl, make sure it's like heat resistant bowl. And this bowl needs to fit in here. I don't have one that's a perfect size. It fits in there, it doesn't go all the way down, but uh, it can't be too big. My next size bowl is too big. So it has to be able to fit in there so that the popcorn can pop in there and we can flip it over, which I think is the very dangerous part, but we'll see. So let's do this. It's starting to burn around the edges and that's what I was afraid of. So I'm kind of turning the pan and I'm gonna mix it a little bit even though they don't mix it. Hopefully I can get that butter around there to help prevent it from burning. But I was nervous about this part. We just have to keep trying it because all the candy's not melted yet. So we have to keep going. So right about now, they tend to put in the popcorn, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna put in the popcorn, I'll put some more in there. And we'll see how it goes, a little bit more. And they put on a lid, carefully put this on. I don't know how it'll work. There we go, we'll wait for it to pop. It's starting to pop inside there, just a little bit. It's also starting to spit a lot of grease everywhere, so be careful. Okay, I think we've reached maximum poppage, so let's turn off the heat. We'll set things up to flip it over. Now that I'm really nervous about. So now I have a large silicone mat here because I think it's gonna make a complete mess and I want the cleanup to be a little easier. So here we go. And as you see, um, it doesn't look very good. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this here. We're gonna flip it over. I'm wearing a glove for extra protection. Try to flip it over quick and evenly. Pretty much how I thought it would turn out with a burnt pan. To be fair, some of them look salvageable, but the ones around the edges, not so much. If you don't like the smell of burnt caramel, don't try this experiment at home. Um, it doesn't smell good and be very careful about touching anything right now. What I'm gonna do is try to pull out the ones that are salvageable, a little burnt, and uh, put that in a separate container just so we can kind of taste those to see if they taste good anyway. There's not much salvageable here, but we're gonna do our best. Make sure you wear protection. Gloves. There you go, they're the salvageable ones. We're gonna let them cool down a bit and then we'll taste them out and see how they taste. Now for the taste test, we're gonna do the salvageable ones, the ones I think might taste the best, giving it the best possible chance of it succeeding. So here we go. pretty good, but it still has a little bit of that burnt taste to it. Overall, definitely would not recommend doing this method. 
make the caramel separate and pour it on your popcorn that's already popped. Mix it in, that's the best way to do it, not this way. It's a fun gimmick, but that's what it is, a gimmick. It really doesn't work. Even if I didn't burn it, it still wouldn't have yielded the most possible pop popcorn and uh, the best tasting. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos where I test out different creations and see if they work, let me know in the comments. Also, hit that big red subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Check out this video right here, and I'll see you next time.